now what we need to do is uh, we need to build our weapon template so we need to go into not editor go into uh, open from not editor and typically you may have to navigate to the vampire miscellaneous templates folder so once you're in there um, double click on global and now what we want to do is we want to create new template file now that that's created um, I'm going to select the item here and I'm going to create a copy of it and I'm going to rename it whatever corresponding name you want to give it at the end and then I'm going to drag it I'm going to left click and drag it into my new not file and go yes I want to save it and I want to take the weapon as well take weapon drag that as well yes I also want melee weapon rename copy copy rename and move it now under melee I'm just gonna take an existing stake because I want to do as little work as possible so I'm gonna read it this is gonna be the actual weapon that should appear on my list Lamp. weapon that's, that's at least what I'm going to name it. And then I'm going to move it into the melee weapon section. Go yes. And now what I need to do is I want to change its model to match the ground model. This is a when you're when you're uh, changing this this model is what it's going to appear on the ground. So I want to make it look like the lamp. And since this is a lot taller than a spear, I'm going to change its height. Uh, Probably, um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna say 60, and probably increase its radius just a little bit. Maybe uh, 16. There we go. So that it's easier to highlight when it's in the game. And now, what we want to do is we want to change the weapon model. We want to change that to Javo Lamp Weapon, the first part, before the zero, before the number. And what it's going to do is uh, it's going to extend that based on uh, what skeleton is, uh, what skeleton equips that weapon will be what this number is used. So if Kristoff attempts to equip the weapon, then it'll go to zero because he's just, use a skeleton zero. If uh, Eric attempts to equip the, the lamp weapon, it'll go to one, and so on and so forth. So that's all we take from there. It'll extend the number beyond that. So, And now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the carry appearance is that of a pull arm, and I want to change the attack appearance from stake to what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We want a pull. Let's go pull thrust. <clears throat> and I'm not going to bother with uh, with much else. I'm going to change the uh, the description though to lamp. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do on that bugger. And it. We're, we're pretty much ready to uh, save this. So click on the uh, the name of the knot and so click yes to save. What that does is that saves this previous template. So we want to click on here. We want to choose uh, save template file. And when you name your new template file, you have to start with an underscore. This is very important. The engine looks for that as an extension to the database. If, if you, you don't, don't put that, that in there, that starting with underscore, your 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 your, your template isn't going to load. It's it's not going to appear in the game. This won't work because uh, the engine needs to know that this is an extension and it's going to append whatever data is in your database into the main game database. Okay. All right. 
so I'm just going to call mine Javo Lamp, and I'm going to save. And do note know, the underscore, very important. This isn't just for show. This is an important part of the engine. It needs to know that it's to append the database. So we go save. Now we got the new not file with our new weapon, with our new model. And it's going to be the lamp. It's not a, actually a new model. It's just uh, we're taking an existing prop and we're turning it into a weapon. All right? For funsies. So that should be ready. So we just exit out and go yes to save. So you got to make sure you exit out of not editor before you test the template in the game because it may not work. Work until you exit. So now we're ready to start the game and see what it looks like in the game. Okay, once I'm in game, I'm going to go into multiplayer, land. I'm going to create my character here. Let's see here. I'm going to make him a gangrel. I'm not going to worry about spinning. Okay. I'm going to go into the Princess Mansion. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the uh, storyteller mode. I'm also gonna right click and spawn my storyteller head here. Under items, I'm gonna go into actors and spawn one actor every major time here. So we're gonna get Eric in here. teach you how to make a new icon so this will not look like a steak. Once you equipped it, it looks like a lamp. Let's see what it looks like for the female models. this tutorial. Hope you had fun. Signing out.